everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage. Today we're going to be talking about some TCU problems. Welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining me again. And uh, so I just had a little bit of a story to tell. I was driving to work after uh, I, I had the TCU installed in my car. Uh, no problems for almost two months. And I'd been driving to work, and all of a sudden there was a, the car kind of banged or shuttered, and then there was no acceleration at all. I looked down at the dash, and in the little LCD screen in between the speedometer and the tachometer, at the bottom of that screen there's usually a gear shift selector or indicator. That's where it tells you which gear your car is in. Well, on my LCD there was nothing displaying there. So uh, basically, I limped my car into a parking lot, and I was trying to figure out what was going on. I put the car into Tiptronic mode and nothing, and uh, you know, put the car in just normal drive, and still nothing would, would display on that screen. So basically, what I came to the conclusion was my TCU had fried. My TCU was out of the picture, and that left me basically with my car, I believe it was stuck in fifth gear. So, um, rather than wait for a tow truck to come and drag my ass home, I decided, well, it is a V6, so let's see if we can just, you know, try to get this thing home in fifth gear. And sure enough, um, kicking and screaming, I got the car home. I just tried to not come to a complete stop if, you know, unless needed. Took some back roads to get home. And it wasn't that big of a deal. When I got home, I swapped out the TCU for my stock TCU, and everything functioned as normal after then. So I now had a, a gear shift selector on the bottom of my LCD screen on my dash, and the car worked fine in Tiptronic mode and regular mode and everything in between. So. Over the last two months, um, I I had originally thought that the tip chip or GOC TCU I had installed was just a bum chip, that it didn't work at all. Uh, it didn't really feel like the car was necessarily shifting any faster or any better. But uh, I can say, or I will say, after two months of using the GOC tip chip in my car, after two months and going back to stock, I could definitely tell the difference. The stock shifted so much slower. It felt like days in between shifts. So supposedly the stock shift, each shift takes about 0 0.8 seconds. And the tip chip is supposed to speed that up to about 0 0.1 seconds. I did try to record some video footage of me racing or, or uh, doing some launches up to 100. But uh, it was too dangerous, as well as you, I really couldn't find a difference in the videos or whatever. So uh, maybe I can uh, at some point do some better comparisons with the tip chip versus the stock TCU chips and overlay the video, the two videos or something. Um, maybe that'll be something I can come up with in the future. But in the meantime, it was nice. It was a nice mod. The, the thing was I bought my chip used. So I want to say new. A tip chip is like 400 bucks. And uh, I bought mine for, I want to say like 200 bucks used. So there's no warranty, no support, nothing like that. So you kind of get what you pay for. The uh, I bought it from a well-known, you know, online Tiptronic user or uh, owner. So I wasn't really concerned about, you know, being sold snake oil. It's just that when this tip chip went out, it uh, I'm out, out out that money. So until I can find a workaround, I'm just going back to the stock TCU. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or uh, comments about this because uh, there's not a lot of information about TCU upgrades on uh, YouTube and especially on the Internet. So I would like to get this sorted out as soon as possible. So stay tuned for more. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.